then, so we've just side bent to one side and then the other. And because you guys are all now very experienced with doing this, it, if you um, bring your attention back to the right hand side of the pelvis and lifting that, um, where you think you're lifting the side of the pelvis to will change where you're side bending, where you feel the effect of the side bending. So, for example, if I'm thinking of the movement of the right side of the pelvis lifting at this angle, I can feel definitely that part of the spine side bending. But then I can think of changing the lifting angle to slightly higher up my spine, my spine, and, and I can change the angle just to begin to explore which parts of my spine are side bending more easily and which parts perhaps not join, joining in. So you're just kind of playing, exploring, just by thinking of where that hip is going to in space. You can really kind of um, change the way that your spine is, is moving. Good. And then pause, and then think of lifting the left side of the pelvis, and, and think it's that you're lifting it kind of low and over <coughs> initially and just see if you can feel ah, where you're thinking of that side of the pelvis goes it affects, affects the, where the spine, the side bending is felt. So in other words, you can use this side bending to kind of creep, explore up the spine, right up towards the, the base of the, of the neck. Which is a very useful tool to have <laughs> if you're feeling a little bit um, stiff, <coughs> stiff in certain parts of the spine.